Hey, District 5 family, I'm Melissa Robinette here with Superintendent Dr. Randall Gary, and this is our end of the year edition of Five in Focus, bringing you all the good news and happenings from District 5 schools. Melissa, it's the holiday season, and that means we have a lot of great news to share. So let's jump right in. Today, we're coming to you from DR Hill Middle School, where we want to take you inside the classroom with a teacher who is receiving a special recognition from the state of South Carolina. Mr. Brent Bernier, a careers teacher here at D.R. Hill Middle, was recently honored by the South Carolina State Treasurer as the state's Financial Literacy Master Teacher Program's Educator of the Month. Through the program, Bernier teaches students about the importance of personal finance and how to make wise choices for their futures. He also provides professional development for other teachers and colleagues. Congratulations, Mr. Bernier. It's an exciting time of year, and the cheers were louder than ever at Florence Chapel Middle School this morning. It's all part of the school's quarterly house celebration. The house system is a new program Florence Chapel started this year, breaking the school into six different houses of students that are built on positive character traits like kindness, integrity, and service. Students, or their houses, are rewarded with points for everything from academic achievement to being kind to others or helping keep their campus clean. Every quarter, a top house claims the big prize. The result has students and staff excited. So I hope that our students are learning how to be good teammates, good members of the community, how to pursue, just how to pursue personal excellence, and how to just give back and recognize that we're all working hard to make our community better. An initiative at Burns Freshman Academy has students there focused on their futures. As you know, District 5 is an avid school district, and as part of the program, teachers and staff at the Freshman Academy are encouraging students to think about college and careers. Every Friday this semester, faculty and staff have been wearing shirts from local businesses and industries highlighting jobs that students might be interested in. Speaking of avid, some of our middle school scholars delivered a dose of holiday cheer to several District 5 elementary schools recently. Students from Florence Chapel Middle School teamed up with reading intervention classes and visited Abner Creek, Reedville, and River Ridge Elementary Schools to read to classes there. They even brought Santa along. The visit was a great lesson in public speaking and self-confidence for the middle schoolers. Great job, students. A nationwide announcement has a pair of Burns High School JROTC students soaring to new heights this week. The U.S. Air Force surprised cadets Gwyneth Brenner and Seamus Gaddy with great news. The two have been tapped for a program that awards scholarships to students across the country to attend private pilot training with the Air Force. The Burns students were selected for more than 1,100 applicants across the country and will officially take flight with the program next summer. Way to go, Rebels! From the classroom to fine arts and athletics, it's been a busy semester. The action is just beginning for our winter sports teams, but we can't forget some of our fall accomplishments. Congratulations to Burns football coach Reggie Shaw and boys volleyball coach Bill Pignanello in his inaugural season. Both were named Region Coaches of the Year. And in fine arts, a big congratulations to our Rebel Regiment, who was crowned the 2023 5A Upper State Champions last month and our Burns Orchestra program, who just received the Outstanding Performance Award from the South Carolina Music Educators Association for Excellence this past school year. Speaking of the stage, our schools have been full of the holiday spirit and some amazing talent this month. Bravo to all of our students, from chorus to band and orchestra on your outstanding performances. We are so proud of your hard work. Keeping with that holiday spirit, students and staff across our district are giving back to those less fortunate. Middle Tiger Community Center's Christmas Project sponsors 600 children this year, thanks to your generosity. Fourth graders at Lyman Elementary used their own money to sponsor gifts for children. They also sold candy cane grams to raise funds for a local soup kitchen. It's all part of a unit on influence, where students are learning how to serve their own communities. No matter what, you should always try to set a good influence because sometimes whenever you set a good influence, people around you decide to start setting a good influence and that can help the whole community. And finally, a crowning achievement you won't want to miss in the new year. The Miss Burns High School pageant is celebrating its 60th year in 2024. This year's anniversary pageant is scheduled for Saturday, February 3rd at the District 5 Fine Arts Center and will feature queens from the past six decades. The Miss Burns High School program is a long-standing District 5 tradition. The winner walks away with a $5,000 scholarship. 
Well, that's all for this edition of Five in Focus. We hope you have a safe and happy holiday season. We can't wait to see you back in the new year. See you soon, District 5.